What up? This is Combos with O, and you're watching Ask the Question. <laughs> you know those questions in your head that basically stay in your head? I'm making it my personal mission to get you some answers. This week, I caught up with my girl, Melanie Mitchell, who's been killing it in these comedy streets. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and drop a comment. Well, once you finish watching. Oh, and never be afraid to ask the question. I feel like people try to put us in a box, like either funny or sexy, but not both. Like if you're too fine to be a comedian, like, and I've heard that, like, people talk about me and say, oh, she's not funny. She just fine. Like, why can't I be both? Like, I feel like I'm funny. I feel like I'm funnier than a lot of people. And, like, you know, the people they do find funny, the woman comedian, the people they don't, like, they take you more seriously. They're not sexually attracted to you. Right. When they're sexually attracted to you. They can't stop less than for five seconds to realize your talent. Yeah. So it's definitely possible to be both at the same time, though. I think it's tough because I think there's some misogyny to it, right? Oh, I think there's a level of absolutely. And I think you can't eliminate eliminate what society's view of things are mm -hmm. for the comedic stage, right? So yeah. you think about like women and our viewpoint on sexy women is you know subtle and delicate and soft spoken, and that's everything comedy is not. You know, yeah. you know what I mean. So, so like now you have real. to find your way to be sexy while still being funny, but then still be taken seriously. And I was reading earlier, um, I forgot what comedian said it, but she was talking about how if a woman is a comedian, she has to establish a genre, right? So I have to say, I'm the vulgar comedian. I'm the religious comedian. I'm the sex comedian. I mm -hmm. talk about, you know, men, but with a guy, we can talk about Whatever. pretty much everything we want to and still just yeah. be a comedian. Cat yeah, Williams was a either, comedian. You either small fire or you some more, or you Adele, or you can't just be, I, I feel like I haven't found my my one genre yet because I've, I've done church comedy I've done sex comedy I've done right. you know vulgar stuff I've cussed I've cussed I've cussed you know but I'm still trying to find my but that's so true and it's like it's almost like being a smart one like and then aside from being taken seriously is trying to just be safe like <laughs> no, people are sure. creeps yeah. um, you know I, I, I find myself not going out if I don't have a friend there or whatever so I have to be one taken seriously and two Making sure I'm being safe and, you know, watching my back and making sure I'm not in the wrong place at the wrong time, around the comedy streets and not getting preyed on. Like one thing, um, when I met Tiffany Haddish, one piece of advice that she gave me was not to have sex with any other male comedians because she's like, yeah. people, no, seriously. And no, it's, for sure. it's been a joke of mine for a long time. And then she said that, I'm like, she just validated the joke I was already telling. Yeah. But she was like, you know, some people you ask to get on the show, they're like, oh, what you trying to do to get on the show? Like trying to trade sexual favors for because they don't take you seriously. You wouldn't ask a man comedian like, oh, what you trying to do to get on the show? Yeah. Just, it'd be funny. You get on the show. The backside of pretty privilege is that like, if I tell someone I'm a comedian, I'm in a comic club. Hey, I'm a comedian. Oh, you're a comedian. If, I, if I'm sitting in there with my homeboys or whatever, a comedian will come in and speak to everybody but me because he don't think I'm a comedian. He think I'm just a oh, girlfriend. He okay. think I'm just there you know, gotcha. in the green room for no reason or whatever. Gotcha. So then I have to stop myself like, hi, I'm male or whatever. And then if I tell someone I'm a comedian, like, oh, you're a comedian for real? Because I don't look like a comedian. Of course I don't. And then it's like, the question they ask is, are you funny? Why would I be a comedian if I didn't think of myself as funny? So put a fourth there, though. You just said you don't look like a comedian. So who do you think established what comedians look like? Exactly. And that goes back to them being, not even to like say, oh, y'all, y'all have us ugly. But it's just like, <laughs> I think pretty women, you don't find a lot of pretty attractive or like, little short young girls in comedy. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's why I don't I look like a girlfriend or someone who's just there, you know, to make sure my boyfriend not cheating on me or whatever the case may be yeah. while I'm at the comedy club. I don't look like a comedian. Yeah. You know, you think of like, you know, Nell's older. Or you think of like Monique. Just older. I think of Monique, I think of comedy. I think of Monique. I think of uh, Wanda Sykes. Yeah, everyone has like a Ellen. Like a gimmick. Like a an apparent niche. gimmick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Ellen has the lesbian thing a lot. Boom. Wanda has the black lesbian thing a lot. Boom. Monique yeah. has the big girl. Boom. Luna has the auntie thing a lot. And then, like, some more has the fine auntie thing a lot. You know? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Adele has the, you know, your fun auntie, your loud auntie thing a lot. Like, yeah. you got the auntie aesthetic, you got the, the lesbian aesthetic, you got the, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you have to pick an aesthetic, is what you're saying? It, so, somewhat. So, my aesthetic is kind of my hair. And now I feel like it kind of, I'm getting kind of attached to it because it kind of validates me. Because one time I came to the comedy club, my hair straight, and no one knew who I was. Mm. So now it's like, okay, little brown skin heifer with the fro. That's me. When you see a brown skin girl, not shut up. But that's my identifier. So like yeah. if I'm described, so I'm like, oh yeah, she like brown, she got afro. 
Yeah. That's my hairstyle. Like that's my thing. So, so do you think that there's anything that could happen? I think because for me, with these conversations, I want to make sure that we're talking about like moving the narrative forward, right? So we establish like what it is. Like women are having an, an, an issue with being taken seriously or being funny. So then what do you think needs to happen? Maybe on the comedic side, maybe in society, what mm -hmm. needs to take place to kind of change that narrative? I mean, this will solve a lot of problems, but if men could just stop being misogynistic, I think we'd be... <laughs> Great on a lot of different I mean, that'd be easy. <laughs> areas. I mean, just even the attack of Tiffany Haddish, like everyone went to see girls shipping and flood the theaters, and then like one day everybody woke up and was like, She's not funny, not on life, she's ghetto, and she's a bad representation. I'm like, What? What, what just happened? What? Yeah, yeah, and then like the Cat Williams thing made it even worse. People like, See, I told y'all she wasn't funny, or whatever. But I've been a Tiffany Haddish fan since like 08. Mm -hmm. I saw her on Def Comedy Jam, she had a weed ponytail. And like this little crop blazer and some shorts and some like long pumps. And I saw I'm like, she's funny. I like her, I quote her joke, but I have been not even realizing that a student of the craft mm. since I was a little girl. So of course I know Sydney had jokes because I I watched it, but people don't watch her stand up or whatever. They you know, think she's not funny, or whatever. But people in general don't think women are funny, attractive or not. They, I've seen that a lot. It offends me because one, I'm hilarious. Well, I guess we answered the question. Boom! We, we just solved <laughs> all the world's problems. The mystery. And getting rid of misogyny. And it'll just kind of open doors and not just comedy and sports and, and music and. Now that she's gone. Listen, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Keep the conversation going in the comments. She's, she's gone, guys. Don't worry about her. Well, actually, she's. Literally right here. <laughs> but, but listen, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Convos are old. This is Ask the Question. Peace. Convos.